Hey, what's up, everybody, and what's up, Sussex Squad? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Prince William, you are struggling. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put egg head shaped William Baldy locks together again, y'all. William has lost his mother loving mime. I don't know how the royals raised William. He looks at all times weak, self centered narcissistic, rage-filled, but also petulant and arrogant and elitist all the same time. Baby, I don't know who raised William. We can blame it on the nannies. We can blame it on the queen. We can blame it on Charles. We can blame it on just rotten apples. But there is something seriously going on. Do you know that in between Kate having allegedly go watch my video on that there's a whole royal playlist please make sure you check it out i'll be going live a little bit later about diddy stuff but check out the royal playlist i did stories about the whole thing about kate and charles and the way senior reporters are saying that they don't really have the big c it's odd senior royal reporters to say that i did a thing about how william is just like whatever but in between kate having the alleged big c and charles having the big c and working William is coming out with these puff pieces about how he is stressed out and he is coping. Now, I'm not saying that if everything could be believed, having Kate at best going to chemo, at worst not being conscious, having your dad at best going through chemo, at worst having another year to live, that would be stressful for anyone. But does William realize the optics of putting out these pieces trying to make us feel sorry for him about the way he's struggling. William shut down for a couple of days after his dad and wife's diagnosis. He's under immense pressure. William, you are the head of an empire for 40 billion. You get paid hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm not saying he's not human. I am saying that you can't be serious. You guys, there has to be a limit. This isn't about compassion. This is about you can't be serious. And even in all his struggling, he's still not donated one penny, not one penny to helping anybody else with cancer. He hasn't donated one penny to from his $40 billion fortune. If you want to know how much $40 billion is, and you think, oh my God, he doesn't have to, baby, you're in the wrong channel. He has not given one penny. He has not gone to visit six children. He hasn't done anything to help anybody outside of himself, his family, and his children. And when you have that much wealth that is literally built off the tax dollars of the people that you rule over, you want me to feel sorry for you? No, you don't get that. Give that power and responsibility to somebody else. You don't get to do that. And since you only want to care about yourself, your wife, and your children, when you have the power, you have the profile, you have the prestige, you have everything to make a difference in so many people that don't have the privilege you do. I know illness is the great equalizer, but not really when you're looking at a billionaire and you're looking at a working class lorry driver. Since you have the ability to make the world such a better place and you choose not to, and you only want to worry about yourself and the people you love. And then you get mad that we only worry that, that we're not only worrying about you and the people you love. That's the thing you guys don't get. And again, this is my opinion, but that's the thing that a lot, not y'all, but a lot of people don't get. When it comes to like the elite, the wealthy, it's not that they're not human. It's not that they don't have feelings. It's not that they don't deserve compassion. It's the fact that they have no feeling and no compassion for anyone else. When does it become a thing about why we are not showing enough compassion for William that literally has more money combined than 85% of the working families in the UK all put together? Are you serious? Anyway, let's get into this. William struggles with immense pressure as Kate Middleton and King Charles fight cancer. If you cannot handle life with all that privilege, and this isn't the sound cold blooded, I'm being real. I don't know what to tell you. I really honestly don't. And the thing is, you're not even trying to help anybody else. It's weird. 
Finally, the royal family had something to small about. William and his and George attended a soccer match, and I think Rose Hannaberry's son, um, in Birmingham to see their favorite team, Ashton Villa. The father duo stopped and clapped through the game. It was a well-deserved reprieve for William in the past few months. Mind you, Kate has two nurses. They have full-time staff. They have nurses. They have nannies. They have everything. And William's not working. In the past few months, the stoic future king has had to contend with an onslaught of personal and professional hardships for both his wife and his father. Mind you, he has not done any work. He has not stepped up on the plate. When Kate filmed, when Kate got torn apart on social media, William was silent. He has Charles out there working for a dollar. So where's his stress coming from? Does it have anything to do with what's going on with Thompson Kingston? Thomas Kingston, if you don't know, that is a man that was last seen partying with William that is now deleted, but we don't know if it's self-deletion or something else because the investigation is ongoing. If anybody says that he died of self-deletion, that is not true. The police, as far as we know, has not accepted that as fact, and they're actually doing, um, a, a, they're still doing an investigation on it. He's been pulling, William has been pulling triple duty, filling in for Kate and Charles during official appearances while also keeping things going at home with George and his younger siblings as their mom goes through it. Okay, he says he's doing double duty for Kate and Charles. What events has he showed up for Kate, Anne, and Charles? I'm, I'm genuinely curious because since Kate's been gone since January, William's done maybe two, three events. I don't think any of them were for Kate and Charles. Um, what's he doing? Charles is showing up for Charles. But again, it's funny to me that it seems like that William is using Kate's suspected illness as a reason not to do anything. And prior to that, he didn't want to do anything. Anyway, um, there's a lot on William's plate. Again, no puff pieces for Kate. No sympathy from coming from Kensington and Powell's for Kate. It's all about how William has it hard because Kate's sick. They even put out articles saying Kate's very worried about the stress that William's under because of her illness. Maybe. They said it's been stressful. William feels a profound sense of duty to uphold the monarchy's stability and inspire confidence in the public that everything will be okay. It's an immense responsibility. Again, he is not showing his face. He is not doing anything. Kate and William are the king and queen of doing busy work and putting out articles, but I think he's forgetting what his grandmother says, and she was a little con artist herself, Elizabeth, right? She knew this was all a grift, but she understood you had to give like a narrative people could hold on, hold on to. William doesn't want to admit that you have to be seen to be believed. They said there's no secret the monarchy is currently in crisis since take, because of William. According to Gareth Russell, it's always been anticipated that Charles would have had three working siblings and two working children and their wives that would be sustaining footing. There can't be because William doesn't want to share the stage with Harry and his half black wife. Again, keep the monarchy lily white, just like Tory William allegedly wants it in his heart, at least in my opinion. But baby, we see what that all white monarchy is doing. But you know what? I'm thankful because I'll be honest with you. I don't want Meghan and Harry in the monarchy. They can do what they want, but I am anti-monarchy. I am anti-racism. I am anti-elitism. I do think that if they were there and if they hadn't changed them out, they would use Harry and Meghan as a front to rebrand their racism. And they would just be used as tools. So at the end of the day, I just don't agree with what the monarchy stands for. And it's a good thing that Harry and Meghan got out because if they were in, baby, I would be considerizing too. You can't put lipstick on a pig. And at the end of the day, Meghan Markle was the best lipstick the monarchy could ever have. So thank God the monarchy's racism, elitism, classism, and all that stuff came out and pushed out the biggest asset they ever could have had because I'm glad that that asset is not being used to their advantage. I, I said it. I am. I'm sorry. Megan went through what she had to go through, but baby rejection is protection. Um, da -da 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 -da. They put there's gaping holes in which was a robust, robust family lineup. Harry famously fled the UK with Megan. Again, William put this in the UK in the papers because they want us to know he somehow thinks he's humiliating Harry, but the monarchy looks so bad right now. Harry looks like the only smart one fled to the U from the UK to start a new life in Montecito, California. It's going well. Um, 
Blah, 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 blah. They said, now you have the king and the princess of Wales battling cancer at the same time. While no, while it's no one's fault, it does show the cracks. Um, Listen, this is a mess. They said, no one envies William's position. He's got young children, a sick wife, and a sick dad, and he's doing F all about it. And memories of losing his mom. There's a lot at stake, so he needs to support. William is a mentally weak person. I mean it, not because, of course, he's human, this is going on, but the fact that instead of doing anything, you are looking for excuses on why you can just be weaker. Do you know what I'm saying? And again, before you say, have some compassion, why? Because William has the energy to send the tabloids after Harry. William has the energy that every time Harry and Meghan even look happy, he puts something in the paper. William has the energy to continue this obsession with Harry, but he doesn't have the energy to show up for royal events. He doesn't have the energy to work. He doesn't have the energy to make life a better place for the people that he's basically taking money from, right? So don't tell me, if William was literally emotionally, no, you have the capability, you just don't want to work, but you want sympathy. William, get out of here. If anyone can handle it, it's the former air ambulance pilot. After William's dad and Kate's diagnosis, he shut down for a couple of days. He canceled all meetings and spent time with Kate. He then picked himself back up again because he knew it was up to him to be strong for the whole family. But what did he do? He went to the air ambulance gala with somebody that looked like it was a date and partied with Tom Cruise, they said, until it closed. If the reports were to be believed, you then, when Harry popped up, went out day drinking with the st one of the stars of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You then did what? What did you do? I'm not giving this man any compassion because he doesn't deserve it. Stop giving people compassion that won't extend compassion to anybody else. When William shows that he actually gives back, that he cares, that, then I'll give him grace. Until then, baby, no. They said at home at Adelaide Cottage, he's trying to keep a sense of stability. He helps the kids with homework. The kids have tutors. The kids have a nanny. That, and I get the parent needs to be there, but William, you cannot explain why you're doing all this. He reads to them at night, the little things to make life more normal for them. He and Kate are closer than ever. I very much doubt this. Behind the scenes, they're in solidarity. William's been there for Kate in every way, except he wasn't there when Kate photoshopped the picture. He wasn't there when the internet was mocking Kate because they lied to us and told us she was healthy. So we just thought that she had lost her mind, even though he was the one that took the picture. She, Why didn't you take a picture where she liked what she looked at? She, you weren't there for the Kate sightings. You weren't there when Kate filmed that message, maybe AI Kate for the BBC. You weren't there when Kate made official things. So how have you been there for Kate? Anyway, right? Um, uh, Kate, for her part, has been handling things well, if we can believe we even saw her. Like uh, she's engaging in activities to lift her spirits, like walks and getting out more. People around William are giving him time to process things. Around the palace, he looks tense. He clearly has a lot on his mind. The palace is backing off and giving him space. What is William doing? What, William is the ultimate victim. The fact that your wife and father might be facing and you are having Kensington Palace plant stories in the tabloids about why we should pity you, baby. <laughs> Let me know what you, let, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.